Hey everybody, it's Thursday. It'll be that way all day, I think. And going back to the bank to see if the manager's in this morning so she can fix this supposed debt that I owe them from over seven years ago that they've never notified us about. So, it's ought to be fun. And it's not even their debt. They bought a bank who had bought the bank that we used to bank at. So, you know, like I told them, I said, if you guys can't come up with the paperwork or signature cards or anything, then you can't hang a, a supposed debt on me for that. Uh, one of the debts they tried to hang on me was for my wife's business, but it was a DBA. Uh, and at least in the state of Texas, if you have a DBA, uh, you can have other people that are authorized signers on the account, but they can't be held liable for the account because only you can have a bank account in your name. So you can't have a joint bank account for a DBA uh, because DBA is just, in Texas is a single person that's on that DBA. Uh, you can have other paperwork drawn up so you have a DBA for a business and you have a representative and then you have, you know, a board and all that and you have to file a bunch of paperwork with the state but if you just go down to the courthouse and get a DBA and then go to the bank and get a an account uh, even though you might have an authorized signer that doesn't they won't have a card in their name they have a card in the business name um, you can't they can't be held liable only the person that opened it so that would be my wife if she owed a money so they were wanting me to do a bunch of research, like I said yesterday, and I was like, no, it's not my responsibility to do the research. You're putting this on, on me, so I can't open an account anywhere else. So, you guys need to show proof, because if it ends up where I have to take them to court over this, they're going to have to show proof, not me. They'll have to do all the research anyway, and that's what I'm going to explain to her, that if they don't want to do anything about it, and try to figure it out if it goes to court they're gonna have to prove it or the judge is gonna make them take that off there and even if they find it later on they're gonna be screwed because um, the judge is already gonna make a decision that they have to take that off there because they couldn't find proof so even if six months later they found proof they would literally have to go back to court to be able to add it back on and I don't think they're going to because it's not that high of, high of an amount they could prove that somehow we owe it then I don't see a reason why we wouldn't pay it, but we closed the accounts down. Like we went, my wife went into the bank and shut the accounts down and her friend still was branch manager at the time. And I'm sure she would attest to all this if it went to court because she still lives here in, in uh, town. So I don't know where they think that we owe them money. I know we had an issue where they kept saying we owe for a um, a safe deposit box and there's nothing in it that we know of and it was closed a long time ago and the funny thing is this has my name on it too and I never signed anything opening a safe deposit box and that's part of the problem when you have friends that work at places you can say oh we'll just add my spouse and they do and they never got a signature card from me so they never had any of my true information or my signature even though I was on my wife's account. So legally, unless they can provide that signature card, uh, they can't put my name on a damn thing. And they know that. And I explained that already to them once over here. So I'm gonna go in here and see if I can talk to this lady and get her straightened out. And then, um, if I can get them to remove that stuff off the check systems, which is it's the name of the thing, it's called checks, uh, C H E K, I think, or X, yeah, C H E X system. And basically, like if a bank's pissed at you and thinks you owe money, they they put a uh, a flag in there, and so all these banks and credit unions go into that system and see that um, you supposedly owe money to another bank. And then they won't let you open an account until you fix it. So here we go to try to go in and fix it. All right, so I'm leaving a job site. Not necessarily my job, I already left. 
Um, but I had to go over to a job site and work on a computer, and so I'm leaving. Of course, I didn't get to fix it because um, part of the issue is on the server side. So one of the other guys is going to take care of it in the morning when they go in. So now I'm going to navigate my ass back home. This might be easier said than done. Normally, the time I'd leave, and it's probably going to take me the same amount of time because I got to go a real funky way to get back to the house. So, um, anyway, so today went pretty good. Um, nothing really going on. I mean, it's just same old, same old. Um, you know, didn't have to change any toners today, which was weird. Um, got to actually do some networking stuff, which was cool. So, and I guess they interviewed a guy today and I think they have one tomorrow to replace me over there so I can go back and start doing my normal job. Uh, whatever that entails, because at the time I don't have a clue. So it just depends on whatever they need me to do, that's what I do. So that's like my... I guess that's my job description is the catch-all at this point you know whatever whatever something somebody can't do or doesn't want to do doesn't know how to do whatever um, I usually step up and take care of it and I don't mind being that person uh, I just want to be paid like that person um, not that I make bad money I just think I should make more if I'm doing a lot more work than what my job entails so but not complaining, I make good money, so I'm fine with it for right now. But anyway, I'm gonna get down this bumpy road and try to get home in one piece, if it didn't rattle the car apart. All right, so I'm calling it a night. Um, came home and let the dogs out and still haven't eaten. We watched Scandal tonight. Um, if you haven't watched it, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. So it was actually pretty good, but anyway, um, I gotta finish up. Uh, this video and get it uploaded tonight and then I'm going to bed so um, Not much went on today. Um, there's a couple of things that went on, but I can't really talk about them just yet until um, I know for sure some stuff. So I'll just leave it at that for right now. But anyway um, Tomorrow should be pretty easy because it's good Friday. I was hoping we were off, but we're not we're stuck working so We'll have to, uh, I guess, just hang out and relax for the day because <laughs> there's not going to be a whole lot going on tomorrow. So I uh, may run over to Fry's there during lunch and just look around and uh, see if I can find anything interesting. So um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you're new to the videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, they do get better from time to time. <laughs> and I'm getting more and cooler equipment, so I'll be able to do some cool videos, especially when school's over with. Um, and then if you see something or hear something you like, make sure you hit that like button. Um, you can leave me a comment on a video or leave me a message on YouTube. You can also find me out on Twitter. It's YouTube underscore Frank is the official YouTube or official Twitter for my YouTube channel. Um, and my personal one is, uh, Frank underscore is underscore fun. Uh, hit me up on either one of those and leave me a message on there and, uh, let me know that you watch the videos and I will follow you back. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow.